Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. This is a super exciting day for everyone. We are going to be doing a no delay live stream with Polarity, and we're also releasing an update later today. First off, we're actually just going to jump right into trading here. So as you can see, we are in an extremely choppy zone. I'm going to mark these levels here, or just illustrate it for you how choppy this looks. We're also going to switch it into regression mode because of this, and we're just going to be arming it in both directions at this point. And if we break this red zone here, that's, um, there you go. We actually just got filled into a trade. We're actually going to be switching it into trend mode here. We ended up losing that first trade. We're switching it into trend mode and arming it in both directions. Got our first fill. As you can see, that's a very clean breakout. We're seeing some downward movement here. Almost back up to break even. Just got filled into another trade. Very, very strong price movement right now. We're just gonna ride this entire wave down. Looks like we end up losing that trade, but we did get that automatic break even or at least close to break even. So we are still green for today. Did switch into regression mode because of the formation of that range with that red automatically marked absorption level there. So with here, we won those two trades and now we're actually going to be switching into trend mode because of this breakout there. Remember we're trading volatility, we're trading chop, we're trying to take advantage of very, very small moves that we can scalp. As you can see here, we're just playing the waiting game, waiting to get filled into another trade. We're going to obviously be rearming it. And if we get stopped out here, we're gonna switch it into regression mode. But of course we don't, so we end up getting filled on that and we're gonna keep it in trend mode. And obviously the reason why, if we got stopped out on that, that we'd switch it into regression is because we would be re-entering this range here. Looks like we get put into another trade there. And we get filled almost immediately. Looks like we're really getting some clean price action in the upward direction right now. So we're going to try and take advantage of that if we can. And of course, guys, you can see that these two ranges up here and down here, those are going to be too far apart for me to consider that a regression range. So if we consider this a regression range and price decided to move out in between these two, obviously our ATM strategy is not going to be even close to large enough to take advantage of that regression action. So we would just get chopped out. But of course, because it's large enough, we'd be keeping it in trend mode because that is quite a big movement. Awesome, looks like we got fell on that one as well. So we're doing pretty great. Had a little bit of a rough start there. I was getting a little nervous there, but ended up bringing it back. I'm super excited about this Polarity update. It's going to drop at 2 p.m. PST, by the way, guys. So stay tuned on the email list and on the YouTube. We're going to be uploading a video with an install as well as a setup guide. And we'll be sending out emails to everyone who's already purchased Polarity with instructions on how to install the strategy with the newest update and how to set it up. Also, guys, um, sorry to interrupt myself, but we are going to be switching into regression mode here. You can see that we have had three consecutive bars of chop inside of this range. So we're going to be trying to take advantage of regressive action pretty much in between this zone. And if it breaks out on either side, of course, we're gonna be switching it into trend mode. You see, we're just ping-ponging back and forth inside of this range. You could manually take advantage of this range by buying and selling at the top and bottoms, but obviously we're not doing that. We're just gonna rely just on the automation. We are probably going to be switching to our trend mode here. And of course we've added new hotkeys, so you don't actually have to manually move your mouse over to do those things. You can just click a simple button. And if it re-enters this range, I'm definitely going to be switching it back into regression mode. But of course I like to be quick and I don't like to miss out on things. Looks like we're actually going to be switching it back into regression mode. Of course, this is because it's back inside the range. Of course, we are trading on NQ with four tick compression on 32 range. This means that every four ticks is one of these levels. So it's just artificially compressed to make order flow data more tradable. You'd see pretty fragmented data on each tick because NQ has kind of a small tick size compared to ES, where in ES you don't need to use tick compression, NQ you do. Inside kind of a slow zone right now, but that's okay. We're gonna exercise some patience and just see what we can do. We're gonna ignore that green support level at this point, at least for now, until this range concludes. Looks like we got another trade there. Of course, we're gonna be rearming it. 
And if we get stopped out on this trade, we're gonna switch it into trend mode. Looks like we're keeping it in regression for the next trade. Also guys, unfortunately I did not pass my series seven, I'm gonna, uh, but I did find a workaround on how I can give you guys these no delay live streams, that being considered de facto investment advice. So um, I'm gonna talk about that in at a later point, but um, at least after the update comes out. But I'm glad I'm able to bring this to you guys. I know it's been long awaited and it's, I've, it's just been too long where I've said I'm going to do it and I just needed to find a way to be able to do it. So here we are. Almost got filled there. Um, now it's back around our break even. A little bit unfortunate there, we got stopped out. However, fortunately we got a pretty, we had a minimal loss comparatively. Okay, we're going to be switching into trend mode because we had a breakout on the range. But of course, we're going to be just watching and making sure this is the correct move based off of what we're seeing right now. We're gonna be rearming, and of course, if we get filled, we keep it in trend mode. If we get stopped out, we put it into regression. Looks like we got filled there. Keeping it in trend mode, like I said. We're not gonna take in consideration that reverse RSI at this point, but if we actually do confirm that with a drop down here, we will, which would mean that we would switch into regression. But if we actually had a clean breakout through it, we're not going to take it into account. Kind of a slow market today, actually, but I am trading it a little bit of an irregular time around 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. EST. It looks like we got a trade there. Um, it looks like that we are gonna switch into aggression mode and arm in both directions if we get filled in this trade, but if we get stopped out, that does confirm our suspicions that this RSI is not going to be stipulated as an actual factor in our trades. So we get filled. It's now a new range in between that RSI and this band from a prior level. And if we get stopped out, we're gonna switch it into trend mode. Awesome, looks like we have filled on that. We're up to $4,500 on the day. We only need one more trade to call it for the day with our $5,000 profit target. This is an interesting situation because we are actually going to consider this previous range still a range. So we actually had two separate ranges stacked on top of each other. So we're not gonna be making a mode switch here. But if it does break through this level, we'll switch it into trend mode. Switching it into trend mode there because we did technically get a close below that level. But now we've re-entered it, so we're gonna put it back into regression. We're in a weird little intermodal zone here, so we do have to be kind of quick with what we're doing. And we get filled there. We're gonna be rearming in both directions at the point. And that was a super quick fill there. Almost instantaneous. So we got put into another trade and it'd be ideal if this worked out. Okay, so we actually technically got $5,700 on the day. I would say that is a really stellar trading day, especially for what we're doing right now. But yeah, that is super exciting. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this no delay live stream. I really hope that this is everything you guys wanted. And I know this has been a pretty strong request for kind of a while now. So thanks so much. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. I really appreciate the support you guys have given me for the past year and a half. And um, it's just an awesome experience and I'm super glad I'm able to bring this to you guys. So leave a comment what you guys wanna see next and I will see you guys next time.